Are you ready to create something amazing? Welcome to Sneller Creative Promotion. Custom promotional packaging and unique marketing materials. Making your business memorable. This is Sneller Creative Promotion. Life comes down to a few short moments. This is one of them. Hey, it's Sneller, creator of super cool custom promotional packaging and unique marketing materials. Ready to hit you with season two, episode three of our Create Something Amazing podcast. So let's get started. Fast paced, fast hitting episodes of something old and something new, which I think was very well received last week. I want to go back, way back, go into the way back machine to the early 90s when I worked with a printer to create these beautiful hospitality products. So this printer, and I work with lots of resellers, ad agencies, marketing firms, PR firms, printers, uh, obviously end users too, but anybody with a, a marketing budget and a vision uh, is a great customer for me. And in this case, this printer had this resort in the Caribbean that wanted to create um, and needed to create their hospitality products. And what does that mean? So hospitality products typically are, and think of a hotel, You've got an in-room directory or a ring binder that normally has all of the information you would need for room service, the restaurant, the, um, the features and benefits of the resort. Then you have you go to the restaurant. You've got what they call a check presenter. So when you're done eating your meal, the check is presented or given to you in basically a bifold folder normally or some kind of a delivery mechanism to hold the check. And then also there were... And then a wine list or a wine menu, also a part of the restaurant experience. And the restaurant menu. So you've got the, you go to a restaurant, you've got the menu that you look at at the table, you've got a wine list, you've got a check presenter, and then in your hotel room, you've got the guest services directory. So anyway, this resort um, is a high-end resort, uh, you know, owned by some wealthy individual that was a customer of this printer. And they had this beautiful bamboo paper uh, that they wanted me to use to create all these materials from. And normally that's the kind of thing that would freak out not only someone like me, but most factories are not willing to work with materials that the customer provides. But if you know anything about Sneller, that I rarely, rarely, rarely say no and certainly never fail. So anyway, I took these beautiful bamboo sheets and again, check out my YouTube and video and all my other social media for pictures of these items. Took these beautiful bamboo sheets and we turned them into these handmade products that were truly stunning. And when you're making things by hand, think of a a textbook where you're taking a, a paper sheet and these papers can be printed or various materials you're putting a thin layer of glue on back and human beings literally wrap these materials around the edges of a thick binder board and they turn the edges it's called turned edge they turn the edges and they wipe it down they glue everything beautifully it's it's a real art form it's something that is um, that's been around forever it's timeless all of my best packaging projects utilize this this manufacturing technique and that's was the perfect solution for this so it doesn't matter if it was 1990 or 2022 or whenever my next podcast episode will be hopefully sooner than that uh, anyway these this is a great manufacturing capability for for this project so we took this beautiful bamboo sheet made these four different products from it and then we needed to customize these things so this bamboo was and is a, a real thick a thick material with uneven surfaces it's not good for printing is the point of this story so what we did was deboss or recess an area in all four of these different items and then do what they call tip in or basically glue in a printed sheet to customize these things so the wine menu was tipped in with a, a picture of grapes and the restaurant menu was tipped in with something else and the guest services directory was tipped in with something else so Oh, and the, the inside material was this gorgeous copper-colored cloth, and inside of the check presenter and the restaurant menu were hand-turned, handmade corners so that the printed paper could easily insert into these corners. Really gorgeous, gorgeous work of art. So you got to check out all my social media, see how just how beautiful these things turned out. And as we know, oh, and low quantities. So this, this manufacturing technique is great for one, 25, 50, or a million. But in this case, I think we probably did 
50 of each of these different four items. The printer was thrilled. The resort is still using these materials, and they look as great today as they did back in 1990. I still have samples of these things that I show all the time. So again, that is the something old, and now we'll turn into something new. And you know Sneller's always got something new up his sleeve, so here we go. So I went a little long there, and I did something that I normally don't do, and I got real technical, and I kind of bored you guys with some manufacturing um, details. Normally I just like to show pretty pictures and talk about the marketing aspect and not get bogged down in all the... Uh, you know the buzzwords and the manufacturing terminology so forgive me there I'll try to make this one faster especially because I'm, I'm way beyond five minutes too which was also one of my goals so for something new you've heard me talk about in my previous episodes my favorite accounting software customer called Blackline and I've done all kinds of beautiful kits for them and this one which is quite fresh was for an online virtual conference um, things were still not being done face to face and person to person weren't doing trade shows this goes back about a year and they were wanted to send out for everybody that attended this conference online a kit to make it again useful during the the conference and the online training session and also make it feel more like an in-person meeting so I did this gorgeous gorgeous full color printed box this kit with compartments to hold various items that would be helpful during this conference or the seminar and again think about the audience are uh, professionals office people accountants and all of my uh, the, these these giveaways these items in this in this box or swag as we call it were logoed with the black line logo and the box was neatly lab labeled with how you would utilize these things during the conference so first of all this this box again printed full color outside inside compartments to hold the items was then labeled with uh, there's an area for a notebook with a pen both the notebook and the pen were logoed with the company logo and it said for your conference knowledge so you're in the conference you start writing your notes with this um, this writing instrument and this notebook and then it says for distressing after a productive day and it was a neat little metal tin full of some soothing teas so you're stressed out after a long day you have some relaxing tea at the end of the conference another area said for between sessions stretch breaks so when you if you want to stretch you want to like you know loosen up a little bit there were exercise bands again in a logoed pouch that held these exercise bands and then finally for when you need an energy boost there's this really cool multi-compartment uh, plastic box full of tasty candies skittles and m&ms and swedish fish and gummy bears again logoed customer logo there was a postcard with a qr code uh, that would uh, announce you know the, the dates for this um, for this seminar for this program and also things that you would need to know about this training session Again, check out all of my social media, YouTube, Vimeo, etc. You'll see just, oh, oh, and also finally, I know I'm starting here a bit, but not only do I do the promotional products and the packaging, as you know, but then we, you know, assemble these kits together and then drop ship out to a database. So that's always the last part of the process. I can either bulk ship these things or send them to the customer database. And in this case, the customer wanted me to handle everything, which is always my favorite project. And they like it too. So again, instead of them placing 10 purchase orders, they just call Jeff and he takes care of everything. So anyway, that is the end of Season 2, Episode 3 of Create Something Amazing Podcast with Sneller. You want to create something amazing, Jeff at StellarCreative.com, StellarCreative.com, or for my promotional products, I have a new website, StellarCreativePromotions.com, or you can also find that search tab on StellarCreative.com. Thank you for listening to Create Something Amazing, a Sneller Creative Podcast. For more episodes, remember to like, share, and subscribe 